does game two have in store? We're about to find out here on EA Sports. Hi, everybody. I'm James Cebulski. Both teams lined up in the middle. We are ready to get things underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Quick shot. Got eyes up on the play. Got eyes up again. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there. James, he was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. Rush has got a hold of the puck. Here they come. Quick shot! Oh, what a stop! Oh, scores! And that's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Just a fabulous goal, James, with a lot of elements woven into it. I mean, he's stumbling, so he almost falls, but he's able to get a shot off just in time. He's able to hold himself up and get that shot off. His hands away from his body, not in the greatest position, but he manages to find the back of the net. Russia's firing on all cylinders here early in this one, and they lead. And they win that neutral zone draw. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, Russia's ahead 1-0. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Well, everyone has a job and a role to do, and guess what? It's about PK execution right now. They have the one goal lead. Now they're protecting it. And the power play unit takes to the ice their first chance to try to make something happen in this game. Well, they earn this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. Kazan's crossed the line and on the attack. Shuts him down. The Avs move the puck in the defensive zone. Tripped up on the play, and the referees caught that one. And here comes the judgment from the official. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded, James. you got to find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. Ebert's known for making breakout passes. Guys, his send-it zone ability can spring a teammate into a great scoring chance. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. A chance! Oh, and it stays out! He got a piece of that one! Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. Rush has got the lead here in the first as they have been the more dominant team in the offensive area. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. He came so close to put it in. James, I thought he had that one. If he continues to get to the net with that quick release shot, he's going to convert at some point in this game. Well, this shot is really hard, James, but a nice reminder that if it isn't accurate, it doesn't stand a chance. From it close, and he rings the post. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Skates across the blue line. Quick shot. Oh, what a save. He stopped it. Wow. Oh, that's an intangible oh, effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure. You're under attack. Really under siege. And you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Some last-second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Rush has won the defensive zone draw. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck.
second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Well, great placement, but he had to get the one-timer off quickly, James, because he didn't have much time and space in that net front area. You know that they're going to close quickly on you when you find that that puck comes across. Russia's dialed in here tonight, now up by two in this second period. Well, sometimes you can see and you can feel the energy of a team, and that's exactly what's happening right throughout the lineup right now, goaltending all the way down the ice into the offensive zone. I mean, they have just put on the clinic in terms of their shots. They're finding the way to get pucks through to the net, and to be truthful, I'm surprised they only have two. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Back to the point it goes. Let's it fly! Too much congestion in front. Here's a shot. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Oh, what a save on the play. Wow. Oh, that's Grand Larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in so focused when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. And there's a club save on the play. Take it along the wall by Svechnikov. Russia's got the puck. Moves the puck along the half wall. Shot. And he had an answer with that save. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Here's a feed in front. And that's stopped. Here's a chance behind the net. Coughs it up on the play. Kazan's got the puck along the boards. Good save. Somehow got a piece of it. And a good save on the play as action continues. Now he takes it over the line. A serve feed. Misses. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. Quick feed to Bob. Oh, what a block. He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off, if he can get off. The attack have to control their sticks better. They'll serve two for slashing in the meantime. The Avs send their man advantage unit out once more. Though they haven't scored on the power play yet, man, it is a tough thing to do. And this is an urge opportunity. They've practiced. They know what they're doing. It'll come. Grabs possession of the puck. Receives the pass. Kazan's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Pass right back. Moves it to the middle. Takes the blast. Blocked in traffic. And the puck leaves the zone. The Avs played along the boards. Sorry in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. Fans, take a look to the sky. Players are set, officials are set, third period action is coming up. Well, the moment of truth for both teams here as we are underway in the third. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Kazan's right where they should be in this game, behind James. It's been earned because they've been scrambling in their own zone. They've been disjointed and disconnected, and they haven't had any puck possession. When you don't have the puck on your stick, you can't generate any offense at all. And he takes the pass. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. Oh, and he whiffs. And another call. Again. 
against the home team, and these fans have, I think they've had enough. They've had enough, and they're booing at the officials and for the players. This is so frustrating. You try and kind of get the temperature of the way the official's going to call the game, and real tough to read when you get three in a row like that. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Puck is scooped up here inside the offensive zone by Volk. Volk's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Offensive zone face off and he wins the draw. And we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play. And he takes the dish. Puts into the paint! Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but this team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high-danger scoring chances eventually go in. Gets a stick on it! Moves with the puck at the corner. After the shot as the whistle blows the play down. Well, that was a blast of a shot, and it just shows how strong the glass is and the technology. The new technology today, James, is adjust spiders, but it has to be replaced because it's always about safety first. Gets it out of his own end. Already down in the game, and you're back against the wall. This is a massive kill. You want to keep the game within reach. Here's a shot. Scores! Well, that's number two, Pounder. Yeah, he's been all over the puck tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. You got to believe. A real great job by the net front player here. Looking back, seeing where the eyes of the goaltender are and moving accordingly. But if you're the goaltender, you gotta out battle the net front player. You gotta find a way to bob and weave and to stop that puck. The Avs continue to find offense here in period number three, now making it three nothing here, Pounder. Well, yeah, they had the intermission, right, James? And they come out of the gate firing just like they started the game. They're up by three, and you gotta figure they're gonna get a couple more with the amount of shots they're putting through to the net. Sends the pass over. Svechnikov's going to play it against the half wall. Pass on through. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Through center along the wing. Here's a chance. Sends it in front. And he scores. What a goal. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all around you that are going to come and close. The Avs continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. The Avs know that their goaltender is sitting on a shutout right now. They've done everything they can to push the play to the outside and give an opportunity to the tender to get that big fat zero. The scoreboard is going to show it at the end of the game. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. I don't think the PKers are going to be blocking any shots on this one, James. I know I wouldn't be. Just look at the score of this game. It's over. Carl's got the answer as to who had the better night. Ebert's been able to contribute by generating scoring chances, and you know his teammates appreciate it. I think he's been the player that stood out for me, guys. Puck scooped up by Marchenko. Oh, you got to love the effort as he blocks that. Tees him up. Oh, he stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save in James. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Oh, he caught him. Uh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. And he takes the feed. Here they come on the attack. 
Russia's number one line has been dominant tonight, James. They've been in the offensive zone. They've created a ton of opportunities, and there's a reason why they're in the lead. Oh, the reactionary save on the one-timer. Slips the pass in front, and that's stopped. Six seconds remaining. Blocked in traffic. And that'll do it from ringside here. Cheryl, the power a locked-in Tendi tonight. The goaltender was outstanding in this one. Pitching a shutout, James. It is critically important that you get the saves when you need them, but how about the structure defensively? They really tightened up and didn't give much up. What a night. You gotta love the intensity of the playoffs, and we will see you down the road at the next game. It's playoff time, baby. Good night from all of us here at EA Sports.